Hello everyone, this is the Cleric Returns, returning to you with another episode of Kerbal Space Program. We are in version uh, 0.23.5.464. You know what that means, it's time to grab things. Uh, we're gonna do just, uh, just a quick little thing that I made earlier and test it out once already. And uh, we'll see if we can do it again. Uh, let me load the ship up here. Just take just a moment. I, I apologize for the noise in the background. I got Duke here um, Getting used to his new bed. It's uh, it's quite the adventure uh, Astral lander 146 parts And there it is Look at this baby. Yeah, yeah, uh, so this is designed uh, from the new ginormous rocket parts which are amazing uh, and the, the grabber claw thingamabobbers, the advanced grabbing unit, the AGU. And uh, these things, if you don't know, toggle, toggle flag. Oh, the flag, right, that, right there. Uh, if you don't know, these basically grab onto just about anything uh, so you can tow it around. So we've got our three little rockets here, we've got our ginormous rockets down here, uh, which I think I'm actually going to switch out for a different. Um, different fuel capacity simply because oh we gotta get rid of these I need to throw a rocket on here I tested it earlier in kind of cheaty mode um, by doing infinite fuel so this time around I'm gonna do it authentico I think this yeah let's go with the big tank and that should be good look at that massiveness that's so awesome um but yeah, I, d I did it earlier with infinite fuel and grabbed an asteroid and achieved my goal, which was, you know, everyone's like, ooh, asteroids, let's go grab one and bring it into orbit around Kerbin. But I was like, let's uh, let's take this one step further and see if we can take it all the way down to Kerbin. And yes, yeah, so parachutes, lots of parachutes. Each one of these little uh, drones, I guess, would have... Uh, four parachutes each, solar panels, batteries, computer controls. Oh my goodness, Duke is being noisy. And then we've got RCS to navigate around a little bit, and they're all docked on. And we got our main grabber right here, and this whole unit is just going to grab and go. It's going to be awesome. Let's uh, put these. I think uh, last time it was a little bit slow. I'm tempted to put six. Uh, just to speed up the process, but then it, it will burn more fuel, so we got to be careful of that. Uh, let's do it down to three. Two and three. That, that's the right spot. Okay. And we'll keep it kind of high there. Doesn't really matter. Um, I think that's it. Got our nice little tugboat ready to go. I think. Uh, so... Let me do some work off camera to get the rocket beneath this set up Because uh, we're gonna have to build something big in this space to get us up into orbit. Let's uh, let's save this for now. Oh my goodness. What are you doing Duke? <laughs> okay, he's done playing with his bed um, Let's head out to the Space Center to the tracking station and take a look and see what asteroids we've got. I assume that they would be available. Converting older saves, please. Do we... Oh, here we are. Unknown object. Class C. Medium size. And I've learned that we can track the object here and see that it gets a Kerbin... Hey! Gets a Kerbin encounter over here, and sometimes they'll even crash directly into the planets. Uh, let's see if we can get a little closer look. Uh, we have encounter and escape, so it'll get sure, kind of close, looks like, but uh, might uh, might do a little... You know what? Let's, let's take advantage of a new feature, and we can time accelerate right here while we're in the tracking station. Let's see if we can get a few more to appear. Yeah, see, there they are. Uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, look how they disappear as well, that's cool. Alright, let's, uh, that's a good variety. Let's slow her on down. 
Let's see what else we've got. Medium, 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 huge. Medium, medium, small, and small. Let's go, let's see, this, let's kind of track a few of them. See if we can get one that has a good orbit or a, a near a near pass, if you will, so we can kind of jump out and grab it on its way by. Take a quick look. These are kind of far out, but they're they're coming in. Yeah, look at that. It's so awesome. Uh, so everything kind of jumbles up right in here. We can see a lot of different tracks going on. And this one has a near pass. This one is further out. Um, what about this? Can I get in here? This guy? He, he doesn't even intersect, does he? All right, let's try a different one. This, this guy. Oh, I think we already looked at him. This one, uh, 34 million, not too bad. We might do that one. Uh, no intersection there. This guy, nothing. Two more to go. Oh, this guy's close, but he, he doesn't come too close to Kerbin. And this one, 22 million. All right, I think let's do this one. How, what size are we? AST, it's a class C, we can see over here. Uh, size class C. I wonder, is that medium or small? I totally can't tell. C, is C small? I know uh, there we had some of these, like this one, were small. Class B. Is that a huge one, though? I don't know. I'm guessing since... Oh, Class E. That's got to be a small one, right? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, but this... Was it this one? No, this one here in the back. Yeah, this one has a nice close encounter, so let's set this one as our target. Uh, we'll get up into orbit. And we can see that the plane is just slightly lower. So this this will be a nice a nice fun one. So we can stop tracking all the other ones. So we want AST BHC 118. So let me set everything up and build a rocket underneath my rocket, uh, my tugboat, and I will be right back with you. Thank you. 
All right, I think I finally got one. Uh, we're going to intersect at 50,000 kilometers. So 50 million meters, which is it's okay. It's not terrible. I mean, we <laughs> could do better, but uh, it took it took a while to actually find one that was heading in a direction where we could actually meet up with it. Uh, this burn might take far too long. I didn't put any docking ports on this either, so things might get a bit interesting, Duke. Um, but we're gonna go for it and have high hopes that if it doesn't work, um, you won't see it. <laughs> well, you might see it. We'll see. We will see if you will see it. Okay, I am lined up. It says 18 minutes. Um, I'm debating on when to go. Let's start it at about five minutes till. That feels good. Total guess. It's a big burn. 1700. But, uh, you know, I think it's doable. And, you know, we can at least get out there and latch on and then um, maybe revise the mission based on our mission data uh, to bring it uh, around to something a bit more normal. Here we go, swinging by Kerbin. Hello, planet. And, okay, we're about five minutes out. Let things render in here down to one frame a second. Wow. And let's just go for it. Oh, it's only a minute. Okay, let's... <laughs> let's hang on, then. Oh, oh, gain, regain control. Stop it. It's very tense. Very tense moment. Only a minute. I think we can make it. Then again, we might, we're yeah. These are these aren't gonna last. So we'll start it at probably. We'll give it another couple minutes before we start the burn. And four, three minutes, and just into two. Let's start there. Seems good to me. And I'm just gonna trust the burn. I really should turn off the gimbling. <laughs> I guess that's what's causing all this rotation shenanigans. Alright, here's high hopes that we don't... I'm gonna F5. <laughs> go. And go. Oh, look at that. I am surprised how powerful this, this engine is. I just hope we have enough fuel. It looks pretty good. Definitely traveling in the right direction now. Let's take a look at the map. We are making progress. It's good. I'm gonna trust the burn. Trust the maneuver node. Look at those new rocket engines glowing. So pretty. So, so pretty. And we're getting close. Gotta watch that overheat. It's gonna be like half our fuel, leaving us not a lot for maneuvering. And cut. See, look, it turns from red to green. And then, check this out. Are you ready? Here's what I discovered. So you see, we got our maneuver node here. Check. All done. Gets rid of it. There's no more fiddling around with that shenanigans to try and meet up and and like get it to expand properly oh that's that's like way off all right well let's get out into space and we'll make the adjustment when when we're out there
four, three, two, one. And good enough. Let's kick off our CS. And let's head on over to asteroid AST TNN 647. Luckily, we get to rename it once we land on it. This this is too beastly, I think. You need, um, I don't know, some, some way to dock something so it's easier to maneuver. I don't know. Multi-stage shenanigans or something. All right. Uh, so let's get our main arm open. Arm. There we go. The arm is ready. Look at that thing. So awesome. Oh yeah. All right, let's uh, use RCS and we'll head on over. Keep it right there, please. And away we go. Wow, this thing is crazy. There we go, and a little faster. To one is good, and then we'll. Whoa, 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 time warp, whoa, whoa, you are way off now, what the heck? What the heck? Um... And this way... Okay, recentering, okay. Can we time warp again safely? Looks like it. Oh, I forgot to put lights on this thing. Duke, quiet, please. Thank you. <laughs> Landing on the dark side. Okay. And we're almost there. All right. Let's slow her down and readjust um, this. This way. Straight at it. And we need to go up. Oh, this way. Down. <laughs> Oof. Man, these things not being in the center of gravity makes it difficult. All right, slow her down a little bit. Let's get in a good viewpoint to look at the first mating of these two beautiful structures. Bring it in nice and slow. Yeah, you're a good man, Charlie Brown. Look at this thing. It's huge. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. And... Grab on. I, I said grab on. Gr Come on. Thank you. Look at that go. Just took a chunk right in there. All made it up, looking good. Very, very nice. Whew. All right, I'm gonna take a breath. Uh, whew. <laughs> That's tense. Uh, let me take a breath and I'll get set up for the return trip and I'll be right back with you. So, uh, yeah, so here we are. We are ready to start this awesome process of docking on the parachutes. So let's uh, extend the arm. Very beautiful. Got RCS on, let's push away. I think I'd like to put it somewhere, somewhere around there. Let's turn around. And right, right there-ish. RCS back on. Slow ourselves down. And, oh, we are not clear by any means. Let's get out further. And that should be good. And so down. Cool. And translate, please. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. This way. Here we go. And slow her down. And 
That looks good. Turn it a little bit. Um, there we go. And in we go. Nope. In we go. These little guys are so light, we can just have them collide right into it. Kachunk! Look at that. Parachutes ready to go, and they even reass reassert themselves, I guess is the a possible relevant phrase, uh, into the staging. So we can just stage everything all at once, once we get back to Kerbin. So I'm going to do this uh, one, two, three, four, five more times. And I'll see you back as soon as we're ready to start the return journey. Un momento, por favor. Okay, so we've got ourselves all these little guys spread out all over this awesome, beautiful, ginormous thing. And currently, <clears throat> oh, helicopter outside. Awesome night to record, right? Uh, so we've got a maneuver node that I'm trying to find somewhere along here. Should be probably, there it is. Got it. So let's head on over there and we'll, it, it says only 45 meters per second change, which I would believe like we're actually pretty right on um, with, with where our orbit is and was. And so we're just gonna kind of, we're swinging out wide and then bringing it back in naturally, getting captured by Kerbin's orbit. So this way, um, what we're gonna do is guarantee that we're gonna get captured by having, oops, nope, why you gotta do that? Uh, so this this part's gonna be interesting though, because we're gonna try and push. Because <laughs> uh, I, it's uh, maybe we'll, you know, let's let's pull, let's uh, let's activate these engines. This is a pain in the butt. This should be. Can I activate this? Oh, I can't. They need to enable that. Activate that one. Okay. Alright, so let's, uh, we're a day out, but this is deep space, so I'm just gonna go, uh, that's not the way I want to go. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I don't, uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna shut these down, and we're gonna do it the right way, or the wrong way, rather, and, uh, just pray. We're just gonna pray and that the RCS can hold it. Oh, goodness. Graciousness.
And there it is. We have landed safely, and guess what? They float. <laughs> Uh, this is pre-recorded. Uh, I don't usually do post-commentary, but you know this, uh, this is a special occasion. Um, my commentary kind of went to crap, and I decided to stop recording. So here we are, just saying hello and wishing that we could plant a flag with the perfect, perfect shot of the moon in the background and our little Kerbin friend in the foreground, saying farewell. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, and I'll see you next time.